Before I get into all the info about this look that I have on right here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the little, little mini notification button. It's just a little bell. Click on that so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I upload and you get all the notifications you want to get. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I got this glowy, very easy, no false lashes makeup look and this lipstick literally does not come off. Look at this. Nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. Nothing. I wanted to create a date night makeup for you guys because I just wanted to. I hope that you guys will enjoy this video and if you want to learn how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Hey guys, so as always we are going to start off with a primer, but this time we are starting off with our eyes. I'm going to be priming my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer, and then I'm moving on to the Lorac Unzipped Gold Palette. I'm placing this brown color in the crease of my eye, and then I'm going to just deepen it up with the brown right next to it. I'm using this Milani Baked Blush as my transition color. It was a tiny bit shimmery, but it also came out a little bit matte, but I really love the way that a bronzer sits in the crease of your eye. I'm then going to be using any pigment. Uh, this is a mixture between Max, um, oh, it's like holiday pigment. It was really pretty. I can't think of the name right now. I want to see it's like old something. I don't know. Um, I place that in the on the lid of my eye and then Max Nude Pigment in the inner corners. I'm using a dark brown and a very thin brush just to line my upper lash line. And then we are going to curl our lashes and just apply some mascara. We are not using any false lashes in this look, but if you see the difference that a lash curler makes is absolutely amazing. So we want to get our lashes looking really full, so I'm taking any black eyeliner and lining the upper waterline. And then I'm going to take an eyelash primer and coat my lashes with this and then add some mascara. All of these little steps that you just saw are going to help give us really voluminous lashes. I'm priming my face with the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm and then I'm going to go ahead and mix these two guys together to create a very luminous foundation. After blending my foundation in, we can't forget concealer. We're going to be putting on the NYX Dark Concealer to cover up any dark circles. Yes, I know that I don't have large dark circles, but they're there. I promise you, the lighting is real good. <laughs> I'm then going to put my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in all the highlight areas and then just blend it out with a sponge. I'm using the Cover FX Setting Powder in Light. I'm not going to be baking with this, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of powder and pushing it into my skin underneath my eyes and then blending some, just a little bit of the powder around the rest of my face. For bronzer, I'm using the same bronzer I used as my transition color to bronze up my whole face. I decided to go with a bigger brush because I wanted the bronzer to be just kind of all over my face, not in a very contoury way. Blush, I used the baked blush from Milani in Rose Doro, and then I'm using this Cover FX highlighting stick. This is their Enhanced Click, and I believe I'm using Celestial, if that's how you say it. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I just applied a tiny bit of the Anastasia Wax and then used the Anastasia Brow Powder in Medium Brown. Once I am quickly done with that one brow, I popped on the other side really fast off camera <laughs> and then I'm just going to shape the brows in with a little bit of concealer. Even if I'm going for a simple look, I really like my brows to be on point so I always shape them out with a little bit of concealer underneath. And guys, I was on the phone with my mom. <laughs> I'm then going to be applying some highlighter to my cheeks because that celestial was just not enough for me. Um, I love that really ridiculous glow. I'm using the BH Cosmetics Carly by Bell palette to do so. I also did apply some of this color to the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone just to give it a little bit of pop and bring the entire look together. 
And then, of course, we need to make those eyes all put together, so I added a little bit of brown shadow in a very smoky way underneath my eyes. And some mascara. I wanted these eyes to pop, so I took this little Essence 2-in-1 shadow stick pencil and put that in the inner part of my eyes to brighten them. And then I'm going to move on to lips. So, guys, for this specific lip, we're skipping this lip liner step, but I did it in the beginning and it turned out horribly. Um, for this video, I'm actually using a lip color called Lip Sense, or a lipstick called Lip Sense, and it literally does not move off your lips. It's a very, very weird formula, but I really, really love it. And I will be talking to you guys about it in a separate video closer to Valentine's Day because these are a bomb. Make sure to check out the description below on where to purchase them. But this is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I truly hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a big, big, big thumbs up. And of course, like I said in the beginning of the video, make sure to subscribe and click the little bell, the notification button, so you don't miss out on a new video when I upload one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Bye!